Hello and welcome to another episode of the 546 Project Video Food Box. And we have the, one of the more interesting items that we've probably had on this video food box. Uh, Burger King, if you haven't heard and if you haven't followed actually our pages, our Facebook page at the 546 Project and our Twitter handle, which is the underscore 546 underscore project may as well get that out of the way so you can take a look at the article that uh, I posted here uh, about a week or so ago Burger King has a new sandwich which apparently gives you a higher chance of nightmares <laughs> on Halloween uh, the, at least this week because it's only apparently around for this week and then it's gone and I'm talking about the uh, Nightmare King. And uh, if you did actually search uh, for the Nightmare King to see what it was about, this sandwich has a green bun. Uh, and I don't know if it makes your uh, poop green or anything like that, like the Halloween Whopper did, which they had to take away after like two weeks worth of uh, being on the market. But... Uh, yes, this has a green bun, and it actually has not only a uh, hamburger patty, a quarter pound hamburger patty, if I'm not mistaken, with cheese. It has a crispy chicken patty, as well as onions and mayonnaise. Uh, I actually added a lettuce, tomato, and pickle, and I'm kind of a little uh, cheesed about... Uh, them charging for lettuce and tomato. I've always known Burger King to have it your way. I didn't know have it your way came at a cost of uh, 50 cents additional for the lettuce and tomato. Uh, apparently they don't charge for pickles. You can put as many pickles on it as you want, but lettuce or tomato, they're gonna charge you 25 cents each. Um, the uh, sandwich itself, where I'm at, was $6.69. So it is a pricey sandwich. But with a chicken patty and a burger on it, I kind of would expect it to be a little high. Uh, but that's kind of fast food in general. It's not like you can get uh, two for four dollar Whoppers anymore. You get what you pay for, or even in some cases this time, not really what you pay for. But anyway, I go right. I'm gonna go right into the sandwich because you don't guys don't want to hear me talk that much. But uh, here it is. It's actually a pretty hefty sandwich. <laughs> I've n I didn't really pick it up, but it's it's very um, it's massive, so that's good. Uh, let me go ahead and open it. Even though it does say Bacon King, it is the Nightmare King, and I just put lettuce on the on my table. But all right, and that is. That is a green bun. Um, you can't really tell, like, a whole... I mean, the lighting in here, it, it's, it would be a fainter green. But it is it is tinted. I know that. And there's the... Uh, there's another shot of, like, the hamburger patty. And, uh, yes, this has bacon. I forgot about the bacon. You know, shouldn't forget about the bacon in most cases. But I did forget about the bacon. But yeah, it's, it's actually a pretty big sandwich. Uh, there's the lettuce on there and then the... Yeah, you'd have to ask for the tomatoes and the lettuce and the pickles because it only comes with onions and mayonnaise. And I didn't really want um, just onions and mayonnaise and the protein. Just needed some lettuce and tomato to mix things up here for a minute. It's going to be hard for me <laughs> to actually uh, pick this up in one piece while holding uh, my phone, but I'm going to try. So here we go. This is the Nightmare King. Let's, uh, let's take a bite. Well, it's actually good. Uh, I, I can't complain about it. Um, I don't know if necessarily the lettuce and the tomato add any more to it. It's just different than just a chicken patty and a hamburger patty and just the, the onions and stuff. But 
I mean, the bun doesn't really taste like anything. It's just a regular bun. It's just with like green food coloring or whatever. But as far as just taste alone, it's actually very good. Um, I haven't really been a fan of a lot of Burger King's offerings here lately. Uh, just kind of not kind of like they use the same type of bun, like that uh, that rectangular type of bun, and then they just think of whatever they can put in it and usually it's not really that appetizing so but this one doesn't disappoint honestly um you get what you uh you get what you want best of both worlds i guess the chicken and the uh beef which is actually a decent combination in this case um and it's i think it's put together pretty well um and uh, you do get a, a nice uh Nice thing of bacon. Uh, one of the bacon fell out here. Let me just show you that. Uh, not terrible. I mean, it's kind of in the way of the Wendy's bacon, but it's not 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 too bad. But overall, that bacon's not actually not that bad. While I think about it, um, overall, decent sandwich. If you can get out this week and try it, uh, go ahead. And get yourself a Nightmare King. So until next time, I'll see you then.